going to iron after allowing the polytac to dry at least 30 minutes. Set the iron to 250 and allow time for it to heat. Now, starting at the wingtip, iron one bag. Move the iron around slowly and watch as the big wrinkles disappear. Move all the way down to the butt rib and iron one bay there. Iron the leading edge, too. Don't iron the seams. We'll take care of any wrinkles there later. At 250 degrees, the fabric will shrink around 5 to 6 percent. This is enough to get most of the wrinkles out, but only about half of the maximum amount the fabric will shrink. You want the fabric to be as tight as possible to minimize the vibration during flight. Now, back to the tip and iron the second bay in. Back to the butt end and the next bay in. Keep alternating end to end until you reach the middle, ironing the bays and leading edge. Always work end to end toward the middle. Never start at one end and go to the other. This puts too much asymmetrical force on the structure and could bend something. Not a good thing. Iron right over the fuel cap area. You can cut this out before shrinking the fabric at 350 degrees. Turn the wing over and do the same thing at 250 degrees on the other side. Iron around the strut fitting sticking up on the bottom of the wing. They won't break through. After ironing the whole wing at 250 degrees, cut the fabric just enough for the protrusion to pop through. Now increase the iron temperature to 350 degrees and carefully repeat the ironing process again. Make sure you iron every inch of the fabric. Again, don't iron over the cemented seams. A good way to know you haven't missed a spot is to place a check mark with your number two pencil in areas that have been ironed at 350 degrees. Then if the phone rings or you get otherwise interrupted, you don't have to start all over again. At this time, do not iron the glued areas. We'll take care of them later. Turn the wing over and iron the other side at 350 degrees. This is an area that was previously spot welded to keep the fabric in position when we turned the wing over. Notice how the polytack we used is keeping the fabric from sliding across the leading edge as it is shrunk. No problem. Just wipe the spot weld off with some MEK and proceed. At 350 degrees, the fabric will shrink a total of 10 to 12 percent. This is what you're shooting for, maximum tautness. After you have finished ironing the surface, it's time again to do some cleanup, just as was done before cementing the second piece of fabric to the wing. Return the big iron to its 250 degree setting or use the little iron set at 250 degrees and take care of any wrinkles that may be in the cemented areas. Using MEK, clean off any polytac. You can definitely feel wrinkles and built up areas of polytac. Remember, if you can feel it, you'll see it in the end. <laughs>